Welcome back, everybody. It is time to lock down some popper slivers, and we finally have some little bit of a deck update. Not quite a deck update, a new deck. Five color popper slivers. I'm trying it out. I've been wanting to do it. We're finally doing it. Now, I will be doing an updated version of the Naya deck list because I still think it's probably going to be stronger, although who knows? Maybe uh, this will surprise us. So, here is five color popper slivers, some additions that should be pretty fun to try out, including wing sliver and frenzy. So let's go over the deck list really quick. A lot is the same, just a few things different. So we'll run through it pretty quickly. We cut our sentinels. We cut a couple plated. We have two plated right now. We've got four sidewinder, four sinew, and let's just go over the ones we already know. Four gem hide, we're gonna need that mana fixing a little bit more. Four muscle, four predatory, four virulent. We add in an extra lead the stampede. I used to run three, I'm running four now in this one. Four winding way, one heart sliver, and one striking because heart sliver is just too good to cut. I dumped the hunter sliver over the sideboard, but we'll talk about that in a moment. But the new additions, wing sliver right here. Let's get on the screen. There we go. All sliver creatures have flying. It's the Gale Rider of Popper. So we're going to try it out. Uh, I would love to just drop this swing in the air. It's going to be great. Frenzy Sliver. All sliver creatures have Frenzy 1. Whenever a sliver creature attacks and isn't blocked, it gets plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn. Pretty sweet, pretty good extra power for the aggro. So. As far as the mana base goes, 21 lands, one Ash Barrens. We're going to be searching for either an island or a mountain with that Ash Barrens. We don't have any swamps, no black mana. I don't think we need it just for one frenzy. We've got four Thriving Groves. I cut the Thriving Heath and I just put in four Thriving Groves since we do need a lot of the green and now we're gonna have four of them. Survivor's Encampment, you guys have been telling me to use it, I think we should. And this one is add any brown mana, or you can tap and, unta and tap and untap creature you control and add one mana of any color. So if we got this down and we've got a creature down, we can tap for black, we can call black, and then we can tap for black with gem hide. So I think we'll be covered on black, and we've just got one, and we've got two winged slivers. I really wanna play with three, but I'm gonna test it out and see how it goes with two. If we're really liking it, I might cut striking and put in three winged. That would be pretty dope. So, one island, one mountain, searching for the ash burns with those, depending on what we need. Pretty even game there. If uh, the mana base looks screwy, you wanna make uh, your suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. I don't mind. And let's go over to the sideboard. Sideboard. Here it is. Not a lot has changed, but a few additions as well. We're bringing back Benevolent. I want to try him out. He's going to go in the Naya update too. He's going to go back in the Naya update. Lone Missionary. It's been on a lot of sideboards for Slivers in recent months, so we're going to add him in as a good way to get life gain and have a creature on the board as well. So we're putting him in. We're keeping Prismatic Strands, two of. So two Benevolent, two Lone two prismatic and one blade back we cut one of them because we're making room for some other fun stuff one hunter in the sideboard now so if we feel like we need to bring them in against some more creature heavy decks or like flying decks or something like that we will do that two gleeful sabotage uh it's just a good card all around don't really want to cut it yet uh relic always good always good pyroblast Always comes in clutch too. We got two of those. And then one new addition is Crypt Sliver. So this will be for like burn matchups or anything that'll have, uh, or, or even like Stompy. Stompy, it might be good to regenerate all our slivers on blocks or something. Uh, so Crypt Sliver, all slivers have tap, regenerate target sliver. So pretty sweet, pretty sweet stuff. Um, might be fun. I don't know if it's gonna be fantastic or anything, but we're gonna check it out and see how it goes. So, that is the deck list as it stands. Let me know what you guys think about it. Leave a like if you are excited for some five color popper slivers. But that being said, let's give it a go. Let's find ourselves a match and test this sucker out. All right, we found ourselves a match against Ha 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 and we won the die roll. So let's go ahead and see what our hand is like. Kind of an interesting one. <laughs> Double leads. And uh, two lords, and our mana looks pretty good. So I guess we'll keep and just see. Uh, we're going to be testing this thing out and just seeing how uh, how we do. So 
let's go ahead and oh i'm on the wrong keys there we go pass the turn back to them see what ha 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 is playing Ooh. uh oh elves uh oh this might be bad we keep drawing lords which that's fine but uh Mm, don't know about this. Okay. Leave the stampede already refilling. Whoa. Oh, it's this thing. Ah. Yes, I just played against all you guys. Is this the defender combo? Okay, I guess it's the defender combo. Interesting. They don't have their mana for boarding party yet. And they need to discard, so let's see what they discard here. Uh, forest. Alright. Well, we got plenty of refill, but I think we're just going to lord it up here and confuse the hell out of them with this island. But if they know anything about slivers, they should know that the only good sliver for popper in blue is... The wing one, whatever it's called. I already forget the name. <laughs> Kyrian Ranger, here we go. That's going to help him out. And Axe Bane. That's my guess, unless I got another thing here. Yep, Axe Bane. And what does it do again? Creatures with Defender. All right, so they don't got a lot of creatures with Defender yet. And we can attack him pretty nicely. Another winding way. I'm going to keep lording it up until we actually need to fully refill here. I mean, we got a bunch of 4-4 swinging in at him, so I'm fine with that. But, uh, you know, they're going to be able to start getting a lot of mana here. <laughs> That's going to be the problem. They're going to start doing the boarding party situation. Uh, which, not... So oh, they're doing... Okay. Okay, yep, all right. And then that, okay, and then that. All right. Ah, yep, okay. They all have reach. They can tap for this. Yep, untap, tap again. And then they can keep putting out defenders, try to empty out their hand a little bit. Get in with boarding party into the cascade. This looks like... Ah, yes, the Aldosaur, Reach, Trample, Cascade, sure. Uh, eight damage, deals three damage to any target for eight. Interesting, okay, okay, okay. Well, we'll take the six. Hmm. Draw another land, that's actually pretty good because I want to do a winding way here. Oh, we got our winged. Oh, man. I tapped wrong. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to pull into the winged like that. Uh, that's pretty crazy. They're at nine. Wow. Okay, well, let me take a look here. They're going to get down these boarding parties. We're at 14. I think we're just going to put down this Lord. And we can... We can pressure them a bit. We don't need all these blockers up. We have two blockers. Or do I just need one? Mm, I should probably have two. That says trample. Block, block. Okay. We're going to just swing like this. I'm going to hold up two guys just in case. They're going to block there. That's actually fine if they want to trade out like that. Still got a lot of cards in hand, so I bet they're fine with this too. And we'll pass, and we'll get ready to just slam a winged and then win. 
because um, now they don't have the reach for this. They probably would have swung with them anyways, but uh, yeah, if they're reachless, then I'm feeling pretty good. Mm -mm. I don't think they can go super combo with him yet. That's a bad hit for them. Just an Elvish Mystic is not great. And we're just going to clear right over the top of them with Wing Sliver. Alright, so they played one of these. Going to untap. Do their thing. Bad hit. Curian. Alright. That's fine. So now they have... Boarding party, boarding party. Haste, haste. We do have to be careful, don't we? Alright, so I'm just going to block one. And because if I double block, then we can't hit them for lethal. Mm, this is actually a tough situation because now I'm worried about this invoker. Eight damage. Number, so you got one, two, three. Okay, so three there. Okay, that's not enough. So I'm considering just taking three, four. Oh, well, they can tap this. They can untap it quite a bit. I don't want them to finish me off with Invoker by getting hit too much. So I'll block one. Can I not block? Why can't I block here? Okay, we're just dead because it wouldn't let me block, but they did that. Interesting. Um, okay, we'll call red because we have it. And I guess we're crossing our fingers that they don't see the line. Uh, I don't know why it mm, skipped through the blocks, but they can definitely just kill us here with Invoker. Okay. Right? Am I wrong in that? Return. They could return once so they could get... They definitely, I think, had enough. I'm trying to see. One, two, three. Maybe they didn't quite have it. I'm not worried about it. Nice, Wing Sliver coming in for that lethal damage. And that is kind of the game plan with this, is we want to just set up our board, hold Wing in our hand until we know we can just, boom, drop him next turn and then finish him off. So I'm not going to play Wing Sliver too early, typically. It's just not going to happen. Um, what do I want for you, huh? What do I want for you? I don't know if I want a ton. I guess maybe just prismatic. Or a lone. Lone missionary might be decent. Cut one of these. Cut. I don't want to cut striking. I think it'll be good against them. Defense for the trample. Maybe cut a Viverlint because they do have good blockers. Although fast Viverlint is nice. Cut a winding way, I guess. Sure. Let's try it. Try our lone missionary. We'll try our sideboard. We already got our winged sliver win. I'm gonna have to go back and look at that and see if they actually had the kill on us technically. Maybe they just didn't see the line, but um it's debatable. Either way, Winged was pretty nice there. I do like that, and I do like this hand quite a bit, actually. Decent hand. Get our mana set up. Beautiful. I don't know why I'm lollygagging around with moving everything, but why not? There. It's perfect now. Okay, let's... Oh, yeah. That's what we like to see. All right, how do I want to run this here? I don't think it matters too much. Because next turn we're going to go gem into the Viverlint. 
and just get set up like that. Tinder wall deals two to to target creature. It's blocking. Okay, fair enough. This is actually a great deck for Wing Sliver. Just get above all these defenders. It's pretty nice. But they're going to crack them right away. Lead the Stampede early. Oh my gosh, what did they mulligan to? Ooh, I am so sorry, man. I am so sorry. He mulligan to four cards. Oh man, I'm sorry. That is rough. That is rough. I feel, I feel for you, man. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're not playing that. We're not playing that. We're playing this. And we'll go ahead and... You know what? I'm actually just going to play Striking right now. Just in case there's some off chance that they kill our gem hide, I at least want to get my red out of my hand. And then we can, uh, since we're not attacking, we can just put down the Vivalent next turn, swinging with three Poisonous. And... Um, we could, yeah, I mean, I'm take, I'm gonna take advantage of, uh, what did they get here? They got everything. They got set up, that was a beautiful lead, the Stampede. That's a good recovery for them. Thriving Grove, what do I wanna play here? So I could play Lord. I could play Lord and a Winged, or just Lord and a Viverlint. I kind of just want to play Lord and put down this Thriving Grove, call blue, scare them, just set up for next turn uh, a little bit. Actually, I could just empty right now, but I was considering just swinging in. Guess it doesn't matter too much. All right, you know what? We'll just get it out there. We'll just get it out there. Look it. I got the wings. I got the board. Deal with it. Deal with it. It's all out there now. All right, who'd you play? Kyrian and Caretaker. So you've got Allosaur in hand, and they didn't even want to see it. <laughs> they didn't even want to see it. Winged Sliver is going to be great. If anything, if anything, if five colors doesn't work out, I may branch to four and just keep in Winged Sliver. If it's going to be that good, that much of a bomb to just drop, I think it might be worth it. We've got enough mana fixing in the deck to do for easy. Easy. So, that's exciting. And I'm glad we got to play Wing Sliver. I'm glad I put two. I don't know if I should extend to three. I think two is pretty good because I do want to see it more often than our random one ofs of our red creatures like our haste and our striking uh, but we got to see striking too but uh wing sliver leave a like for that leave a like for this video if you did enjoy and if you're looking forward to seeing more i'm planning on finishing out the rest of the work week here with some more five color slivers and then hopefully next week i would like to try to update the naya deck list a little bit more cleanly as well there's not gonna be a ton of changes to that one um but i do want to clean it up especially sideboard it's gonna mirror a lot of the sideboard and stuff that I did with this deck, uh, but obviously without all five colors. But man, I'll tell you what, if the rest of the week goes well with this five colors, you might see me just splashing that blue automatically. I don't know. But uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe. I appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next video.